I have a better feeling about this than Monstrum right now. The RNG. I kind of like doing quick play. But we gotta still get some more progress in. Um... I wonder if Rainy is, like, the quests are the same every time. Fuck it. Something strange is happening in our town. Robe figures can be seen gathering at the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago, are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. And in realms beyond! Whoa. It's kind of crazy how many World of games there are. Like, I'm ch changing the title, or the, you know, the game category. And you just type in World of. World of Horror, World of Warcraft, World of Warship, World of Tanks, World of Dogs, World of Tanks Blitz, World of Tanks Console, World of Warships Legends, World of Mercenaries, Contraptions, World of Soccer, World of Warriors, World of Kings, World of Myths. How, why? How many fucking World of games are World of One? World of Final Fantasy? I think I played that. World of Tanks Generals. World of Dragon Warrior. World of Diving. World of Speed. The fuck does it end? World of Subway? The fuck is that game about? World of Zoo? Maybe just don't name your game World of something. What the hell is this game? Worf. There's just so many of them. And I got it. Thanamir. I'm here for something, dude. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. <gasps> world, of, world of Subway. <laughs> the end of the world's at hand and you finally arrived in the doomed town. So... We're gonna go Miku. Seventh Curse. Religious teenager keen on spreading chaos. She'll protect her own town, even if it's only for her own selfish reasons. This character has been the most fun in this game so far. Alright. Let's do it. This one has been the best for her so far, I feel like. The Missing Stars. Media reports on various people with seemingly supernatural skills. Could it have any connection with the news about stars disappearing from the night sky? So, casting spells raises doom. It's not too bad. That's an easy... An easy old god to deal with. But now we're being, like, stalked by cultists. Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. I can go back. I can go back. Yeah, I don't want. I want the occult shop. Pull these out of here. Node? Is that what that's supposed? To, is that Noden? It's supposed to be a band. Noden. I like the skeleton vomit shirt though. 
think that's the best one. It doesn't change on that screen, though. Oh, yeah, the money. The search for a missing person continues in the forest surrounding Shiwokawa. If you have any information, please contact the police department. Dude, again, this happens again? I don't think I can go to the forest and, and do this quest without having, like, a certain perk. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about. This is the only character I don't have in the game yet, and this is the only way to get her, is, like, you check, you need the perk. Fuck, man. I don't think you can get it with this character, can you? Can you get that perk with any character? Or you need to have, like, is it a dude? You can get it with any character. Okay. Just gotta get lucky. I guess I could roll it. Like, re-roll my perks or whatever until I get it on the experience screen. Or level up screen, rather. <clears throat> well, now that I've seen this on the news, is she gonna be in the woods forever on this run? Or just right now, I wonder? Neon Skull! Neon Skull Riders. Um. I guess we'll go arms. The alarming account of abnormal arms. And I remember when it started. The woman next door was strangled to death in her bed with no sign of forced entry. The killer was never found, and the apartment remained vacant. Oh no! I meant to not do that. The door to her apartment was closed, and she lived alone. What other ways in are there? Maybe you can get the apartment plan, comparing with the other flats. Investigate the hospital twice. Do that right now. Yeah, arms is like a pretty good freebie. A pale woman wearing a nurse outfit stops you. Today, we're running a blood drive to help those in need. You look healthy. Will you be so kind to help the community? Uh... It's a strength check. Ooh. It's a luck check. You feel like they took more blood than they should. You feel weak, but fulfilled, knowing you're helping. That seems out of character for Miku. Uh, yeah, I think he'll probably play this. We've talked about it a few times. Um. I don't think I've ever had negative doom before. Interesting. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. actually not good for this character because you want the more doom you have the more your skills go up also yeah all that money I forgot that you start off with all that cash so when you hit 20% doom with this character all your perks all your stats go up by one it's pretty good actually pretty pretty good that stacks Walking through the hospital corridor, you hear a disgusting slurping sound coming from a closet. The Bloodsucker. Only eight power? Damn, she's got nothing. I have no weapon, though. I got nothing. Multiply wounds. Deals damage to an enemy, which increases the lower your stamina is. Uh, let's just cast it and see what it does. It did one damage. Enemy's wound explores, explodes with gore. Um, I could improvise a weapon or I could just kick her. That would take way too many turns, though. I'm gonna have to look for an improvised weapon. And kick her a few times. A broken bottle. Glass tulip. Yeah. Um. Wow, that takes a long time. Let's 
still on us. You know what I could do? Aha! I gotta get lucky here with a 72% chance, though. I could one cycle her right now if I get really fucking lucky. Or I could cast the spell again. Am I ta Why am I taking stamina damage? I thought I had the, uh... Yeah. Thought it would cause doom. Whatever. Fuck! <sighs> Fucking beefed it, man. <sighs> that sucked. Um, jellyfied, jellyfied bones. Good. The apartment's on the third floor. There's no way somebody used the window to escape the murder scene. Fucking bloodsuckers. <clears throat> Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up! I know you're in there. Dexterity check. Call the police. The man escapes when he hears the police siren, but before he goes, he draws an unfamiliar symbol on blood, in blood on your front door. Hey, I need the fucking doom, dude. You notice the odd placement of ventilation shafts. They seem too small for anyone to crawl through, though. I'm walking around with a broken bottle and stuff. This run is so weird. Alright, let's go to the fucking cult shop. Yeah, candles are useful. Right, let's go see the dog. Well, in the inventory, all items in the shop are cheaper by one fund. Eh, it could be pretty useful. And then we just go back. Yeah, like flashlight. It's pretty useful. Especially when you have like no stats at all. Holy candle seems to be a thing that you need in a couple quests, so it's good to have. Yeah, I've seen that dog before. I think there's more than one. The dog that like runs that little shop. Wandering through an empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize any of the brands of soda inside, but you could really use a drink. Yes, get the most expensive one. <clears throat> the taste seems a little odd, but you enjoy the drink anyways. Rob Glove. You interview the neighbors. Maybe they'll discover something the police missed. Nah, I don't think you can get free items. I've tried it before. It'd be cool if you could eat these in a pinch. Excuse me. Listen to the man. Oh, it took away Doom, damn it. One neighbor is complaining about her underwear missing. What happened to my face? Just from getting beat up. While looking around the ransacked room of a recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a of a woman. Her skin a ghastly, pale yellow color. It seems disturbing, and you struggle to look at it. Charisma check. Intimidated by an unsettling painting, you're haunted by nightmares. I'm kind of taking a beating here. Second neighbor is complaining about weird noises coming from the vents when she's at home. Marge. You hear the rustling on the other side of your apartment door. 
Someone's trying to get in. I fucking hate this guy. This guy's actually kind of hard. I don't really have a good weapon either. You know what? Fuck this shit. Give me the doom. See? It's like getting a level up, man. It just went up. Perfect. I need a weapon. I need a real weapon. Who sells a good knife? Something. Strength. Actually goes up really quick for her. Alright. Shuffle's not bad. Takes a lot of time, though. Crowbar is useful. And I think I have the mermaid quest coming up. Uh, there's a place where the vents all connect. Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. God damn it. What is it? What's it gonna be? Traumatized? Minus 10% max reason? That's not really that bad, actually. <clears throat> Every room is connected by the vents coming from the unused boiler room. Could it be? Could it be? You enter the dark boiler room and trip over a pipe. Cursing, you find a light switch and gasp in horror. It's not a pipe at all. It's a long, rubbery arm coiling around the room and ending in a ventilation shaft. Coming closer, you can smell something vile and rotten. You almost fall to the ground when you see the wide open stare of the dead pervert. His elongated limbs stretching and disappearing in the vent's darkness. Inside his mouth, you find a tiny key. And I don't know what I'm going to use this tiny key for this time. <clears throat> After the police arrived, the whole building was searched. Following the arms, detectives find the body of a man stuck in a ventilation shaft. Later, he's identified as the building's caretaker. In his closet, police find pictures of voyeur photos and underwear of the tenants. You're questioned thoroughly and eventually released as the murder case is being covered up as the case of an unfortunate gas leak. The alarming account of abnormal arms. You get this little tiny key. No! That one sucks. I hate that. So every time you finish a mystery in this game, you get a punishment basically from the old gods, and this one makes resting less effective, which is how you regain health. It's pretty shitty. I hate it. Um. Yeah, stamina. Hey, it's this again. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, the art style of this game is great. I love it. Just drinking some water. All right, so we did the arms. Contagious coma. Moonlight sail uh, sailors and mermaids. You know what? I'm gonna do mermaids, I think, because we have the fucking crowbar. So I think we could end this without a lot of issues. Would be not a bad idea. These are all relatively the same mysteries, so. Macabre memoir of morbid mermaids. All the like mystery titles are just, you know, dripping with alliteration. The janitor was obsessed with mermaids. So why the fuck did they hire him? That's not okay. He's collected every scrap of the legend about them in the school basement. If someone is interviewing for a job and they are obsessed with mermaids, you should not hire them. I don't care who they are. That's just fucking weird. 
if someone admits that they have like a pewter case full of mermaids, just don't. Maybe just don't get involved with them. I don't know. The janitor was obsessed with mermaids. He's collected every scrap of the legend about them in the school basement. There's another Disney movie about that girl who like finds out she's a mermaid. It's like, uh, you know, the little mermaid in reverse. And they have the power to like turn people into water. It was a Disney movie. It was so bad. What the fuck was it called? Like splashed or something like that. Getting wet. Now his mind is snapped. He's decided it's time to make one of his own, using the bodies of unfortunate students as material. So it's your job to get rid of him. How about they just fire him? What the hell is going on in Japan? Now, is that the Tom Hanks movie? I don't know then. There's some other one. It's like really low production values. <clears throat> There's one thing everyone in the school is talking about. Another girl from your area has gone missing. Could there be anything connecting all the missing people? We should investigate downtown next. Strong unions. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. While you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologizes. Being pickpocketed. Nice. I realized just in time. Asking around the neighborhood, you get some results. It seems that all the girls have attended the same school. Um, let's go have a rest. It's only one stamina reason, but you know. Need that doom? What is that? Did that like bring my reason down? Yeah, it did. You enter the school bathroom to wash your face with cold water. A sudden noise behind you stops you in your tracks. One of the stalled doors is opened on its own. Um, I don't think I've ever lit the holy candle here before. You light the holy candle, purifying this place. I don't want minus doom. <clears throat> you find a notebook containing handwritten and detailed notes about the swimming club. Swimming club? Itself and the mermaids? Let's go to the seaside. Something pulls you towards the beach. A statuette, half buried in the sand, is calling you. Feeling your hand shaking, you step closer. Ignore it. Strength check, success, despite your sudden desire. Get a hold of yourself. Suddenly moving away from it, you quickly forget the whole encounter. I love all the beach encounters in this game. I'm going to go to the school and investigate one more time. Because I think the only other thing I can use this tiny key for is opening like the trophy case. So... I'm going to do it. You catch a glimpse of an art class. One disturbing painting draws your attention. Take a peek, horrified. Damn it, you gasp in pure horror. The twisted faces, impossible angles, and enormous monoliths make you sick. That sounds fucking sick. What are you talking about? It would make me lose stamina. Let's see what said again. The ocean is hungry. You're stopped by a person with a knife. Oh, I gained a level. Um, adrenaline's pretty good. I'm gonna go with adrenaline. I 
And, uh... <gasps> oh, a doorsman! Good call, good call. I almost completely forgot about that. Let me go Dex. And a quicker hit. Yeah, I love this game. Uh, you were saying, you're stopped by a person with a knife. They look incredibly sad. It wants me, but I'm afraid I'm too much of a coward to do it myself. Can you help me? Uh, my charisma is not very good. <laughs> These are not very good options. You picked a bad person to ask. Try to talk him out of it. It's the only thing we can do. Unable to convince the person, you close your eyes as they jump off the cliff. Then why'd they have the knife? You may be going crazy, but you swear something is watching you from the sea. Can I get my ass kicked here? Um. Let's take a rest. What the fuck is that? Shirt? I'm gonna go to the woods. Cause I'm pretty sure it's the only way. Oh. There's a wish granting tree in the woods? What the fuck? I've never seen this before. According to legends, this tree's roots reach towards the grave of a lynched witch. Nailing a straw doll to this tree will grant you your wish. For a price, that is. Wish for strength, wish for knowledge, wish for money. What the fuck? Interesting. I did not know that was the thing you could do. Did the other ones have anything like that? No. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. I'm gonna put this in storage for now. Just in case I get like a cool item. In the forest, you hear a faint whimpering in the distance. When we find it, you discover a wild dog held by the hind leg in a bear trap. The dog growls menacingly as you get closer. I don't. I can't have allies in this run, so I don't think I can keep. I can keep him, but I can try. No, it just fucking. God damn it! Just getting my ass kicked out here. More doom. Should by investigating the forest. That's what I'm supposed to do to get this quest done, right? To get the next character. Yeah. It's just RNG. Walking through the woods, you discover a sweater. It's torn apart and covered in blood. Where's the owner? Wait a minute. You recognize that sweater. It belongs to the girl who went missing. I didn't even know it. This is it. Good thing I didn't choose the other one. As you crouch down to inspect it, you hear a faint rustling of leaves. Behind you stands Mariko. Mariko? Morocco? Morocco? What is it? Mariko? Morocco? Mariko? The missing girl with the old shotgun aimed at you. You raise your hands to explain who you are. She nods and helps you get up. It seems like you're not the only one trying to save this town. Mariko. So, did that actually unlock her? Or what? Because that can't take it allies. It did. Sick. I got all the I got all the characters. Oh right, it gave me an achievement. Alright, well no matter what happens in this run, this is a this is a game, man. This is a game. Good shit. Yeah, isn't she like the best character in the game, some of you guys were saying? A nauseating stench stops you. Someone has scattered rotting fish guts everywhere and hung up countless fish heads. 
You cover your mouth as you slowly retreat. A vast flock of seagulls outside viciously attack the windows. That's good. Need to rest a little bit. My doom is a little too high now. It's okay. Good for you. Is that what that translates to? The roads seem to twist and turn when you're not looking, trapping you in this neighborhood. Get lost. More doom. Doom. Do you spend hours trying to find a way out? Finally, completely exhausted, you end up on the main street as the passage to the blighted neighborhood slowly closes behind you. There's something wrong here. A weird apathy has seemed to infect every adult you ask for help. You have to deal with it alone. What? Isn't that just normal? You're pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend while waiting for a train. She's undoubtedly changed a lot since you've last seen her. These days, she's moderating a web forum dedicated to the paranormal. Maybe she knows something useful. Ah, my charisma, of course. Wait, what? Charisma check failure. It's certainly nice to meet an old friend after so many years, but you don't learn anything important. But I got reason for it. I guess I could have gotten more, maybe. You compare the sewer plan with a school map and suddenly it dawns on you. The school basement. That must be the place the kidnapper is keeping the missing swimmers. Well, I'll be. Boom. Yeah, I'll get a little bit of doom reduction. I'm a little worried about my stamina, though, honestly. A little, little worried about that. I could rest again, but, uh, it's really not helping me out too much. Fuck it, let's go. Wait, why is it suddenly so dark outside? You stand by the window to take a look. Black smog emerges from the courtyard, coating everything in an oily vapor. This is a bad, I gotta run. Damn it! You run from the window. Faint whispers coming from the smog itself will haunt you for weeks. Mermaid sighting. There's no turning back now. God, let's hope she's all right. Not good, man. <clears throat> you bust through the door to the janitorial closet, but it's already too late. The latest missing girl's lying on a dirty mattress. The upper part, at least. The tail of a fish has been crudely sewed into the place of her legs. She's too weak and died, you hear the mad janitor say. He looks you up and down. Maybe you'll do. Stepping carefully over the corpse, the janitor picks up the bloody axe. Yeah, he's just sewing people and fish together. He's kind of a bastard. So... Manhole. What if I do this ahead of time? Does it, like, guarantee it happens, I wonder? Open that shit! That's not good. That's not good. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I have it equipped. You know what? That's like you use it, right? Come on, open that manhole, man. gonna die down here, man. You've successfully run away from the man janitor. Pure horror. A scaly hand reaches from the open manhole and pulls the screaming janitor inside. Silence. After a few seconds that feel like an eternity, a grotesque half-human half-fish thing slowly emerges. 
It takes a long look at the mutilated corpse and sighs. He had a good idea about the two halves. But the fish should be on top. Police officers find you a few hours later. No trace of the man janitor is found. But you'll sleep a little better knowing tonight that the other students are safe. I love that ending. That's such a good one. Whole town is cut out from the outside world. It's not good. The mermaid design was so good, too. Got a little beat up there. Oh, yeah, no outside signal. I love the eyes and stuff that appear in the transitions. Um, well, I'm gonna do coma. A curious case of a contagious coma. More and more people fall unconscious and cannot be awakened. People trying to wake patients, people trying to wake the patients up result with them falling into a coma themselves. A whole wing of the town's hospital has been dedicated to the comatose. Is there anything connecting these people, and how did this whole strange illness start? Let's check the news reports about this weird disease and try to find the cause before more people fall asleep. Incredible. Oh my god, so every time this happens, the... Uh like chance of you be uh you getting into a random encounters goes up. That's like twice already. Reports mention a patient zero. What the fuck could that be? That's really not good. Yeah, the black and red on the ocean looks really neat. This palette is my favorite, I think, so far. Dark forces, oh my god. What the fuck, dude? I mean that's not bad actually. Whatever. Very cursed. It's not helping. An old man stops you and invites you into his house. You follow reluctantly, only to be amazed by the number of dusty old sorcery books inside. I can teach you a thing or two about magic, he says. Don't worry about payment, I'm sure we could work it out in the future. Okay. Lock success. Among the nonsense stories the man told you, you caught one that could be the truth. You learned a spell. What? Come on, fuck off. The same spell. This fucking game, man. This is this run is cursed. We are not getting through this run. Ain't no way. Actually, I use, I'm use. i starting to use magic a little bit more. Not as like my main part of the build, but it can come in handy. If the conditions are right. As you walk through the village, crops waver in the breeze, following your every movement. But there's been a couple spells that like just like killed bosses for me. Especially with this character. There's one spell that just like does like eight damage to eldritch monsters. Like it just like kills bosses. Oh, great, more reason damage. An item, though. The dust of seeing. Oh, yeah, you need this for the end. Let's go uh, rest a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, my face is all fucked up. You're stopped by a masked man wearing a lab coat. He introduces himself as a researcher from Tokyo University. Testing a new treatment method would revolutionize modern medicine. 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 I can't talk anymore. Holding out a pile of documents, he tells you that he can heal your wounds for free. You just need to sign here. Okay. It worked! 
Later, you wake up in the surgical ward. There's no sign of the doctor, but you feel healthier, and you notice that one of your wounds is gone without a trace. You can select one of your injury statuses and heal it for free. Oh, they're curses. It's not an injury. Damn it. What a waste. What a waste. When the patient came home one morning covered in scars and babbling about aliens, the police had them committed. They're mumbling something quietly as you pass by. Ah! Oh, did you see that blood? Oh, that was a charisma check success. You immediately understand that the only difference between you and the crazy person is that you haven't been caught yet. You convince them to sneak out and join you in your quest. I can't take any allies, so they were killed immediately. I can only assume they fell into the void. Very sorry for you. Maybe we need a, like, priest or something. When you enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package on the, sh on the seat opposite you. It's marked with your name. You reach for the package, but you hesitate. An icy feeling settling in the pit of your stomach. Yeah, look at it. Damn it! It's not until you unwrapped it that you understand what it is. Shocked, you let it fall to the floor from your bloodied hands. That man dabbled in magic. He found a journal. Describing a certain village and instructions for a summoning ritual. Seems that he tried to contact a being from the dream realms. That's cool. Suddenly, an empty bottle breaks on the wall behind you. You cover yourself as the glass fragments... You cover yourself from the glass fragments and notice a masked assailant holding a baseball bat. Oh yeah? You throw bottles at me? I got a bottle for you. Bitch. How do you like that? I don't know if I should even fight her. She does a lot of damage, actually. else. 80% chance to hit that. Come on, you missed that? Oh, why does that keep doing stamina? I thought it w the god that I picked shouldn't it be doing do like doom to me, not stamina damage? It's so stupid. Something's fucked up. Doom. Painkillers. Good, I'm gonna need these. Don't overdo it. Or don't overdose. Is that what it really says? Alright, whatever. Listen, I needed those pills. She's fine. It's not stamina spells. Oh, I did not know that. I'm an idiot. Also, I got a level. These are both decent. Honestly, this might be good right now, though. And, uh... Really need strength, I guess. Fuck it. Branded like cattle. As are they preparing a feast for their eldritch masters? All right, it's time. I'm gonna die to this thing. I think. You managed to sneak through the floor, avoiding the police, and finally reach the quarantine wing, where all the coma patients were brought in. Their pulse is slowly weakening and the blood pressure is dropping. You have to hurry. Use the dust of seeing. Following the old man's advice, you throw the dust of seeing in the air. It reveals a weird, elongated monster hanging from the ceiling. 
one above each bed. Each creature is connected to a patient with an undulating tendril. As you try to pr process everything, one of the disgusting creatures raises its head and looks in your direction. The creatures causing the contagious the creatures causing the contagious coma plaguing your town as taking notice of you. You must defend yourself or perish. These fucking guys, man. What's up with your name, though? Uh, just unplug the life support. I'm gonna die before that even does anything. This is a bad idea. I should not have used the dust. Doomed already makes you go faster. By quite a bit, actually. It's 12. How'd that do so much damage to me? What the fuck? Oh right, unplugging them does cost reason, you're right. Unplugging life support kills one patient, deals 15 damage, but yeah, the rest of it's all, you can't really read it as well down there, but it does cost reason. Forgot about that. Oh, I'm dead. Pretty, pretty dead. Although I could do that. This has got a hit. Oh no, I'm fucked. No, 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 I could survive this. These have got a hit. These have have to hit. Whew! The creature's severed body falls on the floor and starts melting slowly. The remaining part slithers back into the now closing hole in the ceiling. You've managed to catch a glimpse on the other side. The other side makes you fall on your knees. It wasn't a body that you managed to cut off. It was just a finger. Shaken, you sneak out from the hospital. One thing is certain, though. It's the end of this weird illness. Ending A, I think that's the best one you can get. Very good. There's something wrong with the tap water. That's the worst one I could get right now. Now we're fucked. Now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. Bum, 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 bum. Moonlight sailors. It began with one fisherman who dragged something truly awful from the belly of the ocean. A dark, writhing ooze that mesmerized him beyond control. He hid himself away for a week, adoring it. Not to be seen until one moonlit night when a young girl spotted his boat drifting away. A single lantern swinging at the helm and the captivated fisherman singing eerily to his catch. And my doom is too high. Now more and more fishermen have begun to find the vile, the vile oozes in their nets. One by one, they're disappearing. Soon the ocean will have taken them all. I got to rest though. It's not like I have a choice. And the resting is all affected by old god punishments. So uh, that sucks. Probably get through with that. The investigation started to take a toll on your health. You feel like you're starting to fall asleep standing up. Take a nap. 
Oh, that gave me more doom. Although you braved the stench for hours, you glean nothing besides the fact that the fisherman had a wife. Perhaps you should pay her a visit. Seeing two chopped off heads, you can't help but wonder who's been preparing your food for the past week. Uh, research notes. Knowledge check. The notes lying nearby tell of an ancient civilization and an unspeakable horror. You've managed to learn an incantation, but the horrifying image will stay with you for a long time. What did I learn? Enthrallment. Gain an additional follower. I can't use it. Worthless. The investigation starting to take a toll on you. More doom. Oh, dude, we are fucked. The fisherman's wife lies in the kitchen, mutilated and covered with black marks. She did. In the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. Oh, my God. More doom. Surely someone else must have caught one of these. You lurk around hoping to spot one. In the summer of 1971, a whole class trip fell into the sea when a rock they were standing on collapsed. They didn't find the bodies till now. Why didn't you jump before you hit the ground? Oh, I'm dead. I have to run from this. Oh, I'm dead. So I run and get doom, or I stay and get killed. Uh, not a lot of options here. The young man has glassy eyes and mumbles his replies between caressing his catch. The beating movements in his arms disturb you. Can't shake the feeling that those small dock buildings hide some terrible secrets. The game knows. After a slow interrogation, that young man manages to stutter out something about an organized fishing trip. It's okay though, we got the special character, so I really am not feeling bad about losing this. Something gigantic and invisible leaves a deep void in the sea. We actually got to the end of this. The full moon shines in the bright cloudless night sky. The ink black ocean waves glimmer eerily. All the residents have drawn their shutters tight and locked their doors. Your footsteps are silent in the sand. The only sounds are your ragged, your ragged breathing and pounding heartbeat. You arrive at the water's edge, breathless. The possessed fishermen's boats fill the horizon with their light. Tiny yellow spots navigating across a dark ocean under a dark sky. You can't make out the figures on board. Hypnotized, you watch as they bob their way out of the, o of the ocean. I almost, why did I want to say ocean there for some reason? Hypnotized, you watch as they bob their way out of the harbor. Their lanterns move farther and farther away as you hear the odd chanting slowly fade with the wind. You stand in the cold until the final boat is out of sight and is in the pitch black again. There's nothing you can do now. You head home, the weird chant still in your head. It's like losing my motor skills again. No one spoke of the fishermen after they sailed off. Grieving mothers would not let their children anywhere near the cursed beach. Over time, people forgot the last time they saw a boat out in the waves. Get a level. Um, I think dexterity probably is usually my best bet at this point. I mean, I could still... S no, I'm dead. I'm dead, because I'm going to get killed on Doom here. Oh, the Aurora... Northern Lights. Some more Borealis here now. Household Hell. Yeah, I'm going to get one Doom for each investigation. I'm going to die. Perception check. 
Look at my stats, though. 11 dexterity, 10 strength. Someone try to fight Niku right now. It's been almost a year since a childhood friend moved away to another city. He left suddenly without even saying goodbye. In a recent letter, he apologized for his disappearance and asked you to move the furniture from his flat because he wants to sell it. In the envelope, you find a key to his apartment. Search his flat with your flashlight. A ritual robe? Nice. I'm dying style. I got a good way to end this. I only have 94. Suddenly, a pair of hairy hands reach out of the shop's windows and violently pull you into the darkness. A week later, a new mysterious flavor of dog treats is released and becomes a huge hit among the dog shopkeepers. Cause of death, minced and cooked. That's like kind of a special ending. You can only get if you get too much doom when you're talking to the dog. It's awesome. It's pretty good. Yeah, you gotta hit max doom and be talking to the shopkeeper. So that sucks. I can't believe that happened. That's so bad. At least it was on the last fucking quest, though. I want to check out the new character. I'm not going to do a whole playthrough with her, I don't think. I just want to check her out. So I think she starts with a shotgun. Something cool like that. <laughs> Moriko Ishii. Ignoring her father's warnings, she decided to hunt the monster, killing the animals to protect this forest. And unknowingly, saving the world. Yeah, ammo is kind of rare, isn't it? Perception, dexterity. Interesting. We'll get this done eventually. One of these days. Not only ammo, but every time you shoot with a gun, you get ringing ears. Oh, wow. So it's like you're injuring yourself every time you shoot. Interesting. I wonder if there's a way to, like, bypass that. One of her perks gives her one to two ammo after each investigation. That's pretty good. Am I dropping frames right now? No. Yeah, it's something like a minor injury. You could probably get fixed, but it probably just keeps happening, so what's the point? So you're probably just better off leaving it and dealing with it, I guess. I'm sure there's a way to play her. I've heard a few people say they think she's the best character in the game, so. It's a mental injury. It goes away at the end of the mystery, so. But wouldn't you just get it again at the beginning of the next mystery? Because you're going to use the gun again? Probably. It's interesting. Yeah, so you just have it, like, constantly.
You can get a perk that increases melee damage with guns. Alright, that makes it a little bit better then. Plus, you could probably get the perk that lets you switch equipment without any penalty during combat. So if you find a decent melee weapon, you could just switch between them. I'm sure there's a couple builds you can do. It would be cool for them to add some more weapons to the game. And the only other thing about this character is that, like, once you find, like, a katana, wouldn't you want to just switch to that anyways? I guess it's not a problem. Per se. Not exactly a problem. Just improve her perception. She's good to go. Alright. Well, like I said, I don't think I'm going to do another run right now. I actually have a bounty I want to do. Before it gets a little too late. But maybe if I get it done and I have enough energy, we'll play something else, so. I'm pumped to get that last character unlocked, though. So we got them all. All we gotta do is get the other backgrounds. Spell break? I don't think so. Wish. Also, the guy who made uh, World of Horror put a game in uh, Dread X. So if you really like that style, you should play Dread X Collection too, because he's